Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to divide a line AB into two parts, then four parts, then we'll divide line into five parts, and then we'll divide that line into seven parts. So first we'll start with line AB. I will draw line AB, 70 mm long. So you can take 70 mm with your scale. I'll be doing dimensioning as well. So always remember this dimension line will be medium dark. This is AB. Now how will you bisect this line? into two parts. So you will take more than half in your compass. You cut up as well as down from A and keep the same radius and from B you cut up and down. And you will draw a vertical line passing through these two points. See this. So this is point P. This is point Q. This is O. So you have divided line AB into two parts, AO and OB. Now we'll divide line into four parts. So you take from B, you take more than half cut up and down. Again from O, you take more than half of BO and cut up and down. And you draw a vertical line. So you have divided line OB into two parts. Same way again you will divide line OA into two parts. This is M. From O and A you cut more than half on both the sides like this. So you will get two more parts. So in total you got four parts. So we have, we have divided line AB into how many parts? Four parts. Now we'll draw one more line and we'll divide that line into five parts. So again you take 70. We'll do dimensioning. This is A, this is B. Then you take 30 degree from A like this. With the help of a set square, you can take 30, 30 degree like this. See this this is 30 degree upward as well as downward then you take a compass and you take one centimeter that is 10 millimeter in your compass and from a you cut five times one then again you cut on from one two then three then from three you cut four from four you cut five so you're cutting it five times upward same way five times downward from b one two three, four, and five. See this, one, two, three, four, five. Same way downward also. One, two, three, four, five. Now we join A to 5, 4 to 1, 3 to 2, 2 to 3, 
वन टू फोर एंड बी टू फाइव सो यू हैव डिवाइडेड लाइन ए बी इंटू फाइव पार्ट्स आई कैन फॉलो द सेम मेथड फॉर सेवन पार्ट्स ऑल्सो सिक्स पार्ट्स ऑल्सो सो इफ यू नू डिड इंटू सेवन पार्ट्स देन यू टेक सेवन आर्क अप सेवन आर्क डाउन नाउ देर इज वन शॉर्टकट मेथड ऑल्सो इन दिस दैट ऑल्सो आई शो यू हाउ टू डिवाइड लाइन ए बी इंटू फाइव इक्वल पार्ट्स सो इन दैट केस अगेन वील ड्रॉ लाइन So first we will draw line AB. We'll divide this line AB into how many parts? Five parts. We have done with the previous method. Now I'll show you one more method, which is like a shortcut. So you take 30 degree upward, but you don't take downward. You just take upward. Do dimensioning. After that, again you take one centimeter, that is ten millimeter in your compass, and you cut five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Then join five to B. You are not doing it down. Now see this. What I will do? This is a boat method. See, you join phi to b with set square, and below that set square, you provide a firm support with the scale. See this. I can draw like this. See this. The scale is down. and if i'll slide like this i can draw all the parallel lines so this is how you do it without drawing that inclined line down see this it looks like a boat see this base Now we'll do seven parts with the same method. Again, I'll take line AB, seventy mm long. See from A, you take angle. Again, you take one centimeter, which is ten millimeter in your compass, and you cut now seven times because you want to divide the line into seven parts. So the method will remain same. If you want to do eight parts, then you cut eight times. If you if you want six parts, then you divide into You cut six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you join seven to B. Then again we'll do boat method. We can do it downward also, and but otherwise we are doing that shortcut method. See this. You keep it like this. you keep a scale below that triangular set square you can keep it like this also see any how you can do you have to provide strong base so you have two possibility one is that one and the other one is this one see this 
so again you can draw a parallel line what you need to do you need to put your thumb on the scale and move your set square towards left so you'll be able to draw parallel lines so we got line ab divided into how many parts seven parts remember that if you want to do nine parts then you take nine times you know those arcs and join nine to b and again do the same method thank you